हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल गूगल गलेक्सी गॉड ब्लेस यू होप एवरीथिंग इज फाइन विद यू लेट स्टार्ट विद द रॉट लॉ बिफोर डिस्कसिंग द रॉट लॉ वी मस्ट नो व्हाट डज वेपर प्रेशर मींस वी मस्ट नो दैट व्हाट डज वेपर प्रेशर means if i just consider a pure liquid if i am having a beaker it contains some water if i if i added sugar in it if i just add a sugar in it we call this one is not a pure liquid because we have added a solute in it we have added sugar in it i'm just talking about the pure liquid it means it contains only water we call it as pure liquid if we just consider a pure liquid in a beaker and a big and this beaker is covered with a jar is covered with a jar is covered with a jar after some time what we see that some of the molecules of this liquid starts evaporating if it is under the shadow the rate of evaporation will be low if it is placed in sunlight the vap the overall rate of evaporation will be high overall we say evaporation takes place just a few hours when we placed this beaker when we left this beaker for some time inside a covered jar few of the molecules of this water starts evaporating and fill the vacant space available to them these molecules of water we called these molecules are in vapor state which are moving randomly during its motion they strike the surface of the liquid they strikes the surface of liquid and the jar this process will keep on going till an equilibrium is established between evaporation between evaporation and condensation so what we say we say when the equilibrium is established what does it mean that the number of molecules evaporating is equal to the number of molecules condensation we called these molecules are keep on striking the surface of jar and the surface of water when there is when there is number of particles evaporate so we called that a vapor pressure in the jar has been developed has been developed now vapor, the concept of vapor pressure is clear to you if i just say that this solute is non volatile non volatile means that it does not evaporate volatile if i just mix sugar in this beaker what we see that the sugar particles will not evaporate as that of water particles sugar particles will not evaporate so we called sugar as non volatile solute why is it solute because it is present in smaller quantity water is present in excess quantity which is known as sol solvent so the vapor pressure is only because of the water molecules if we add sugar in it so when we add non volatile solute we say that the overall vapor pressure that vapor pressure is only due to is only due to 
solvent why is it so because solvent is an solvent is a is a water which is volatile in nature which can evaporate what does volatile means volatile means that that a uh, that it will evaporate volatile what does mean a substance is volatile means the substance will have the tendency to evaporate itself now water has the tendency to evaporate itself so we call we we say that water is a volatile substance while the sugar is not a uh, sugar is non volatile substance so a vapor pressure is developed inside this jar so we call that when there is a non volatile solute vapor pressure is only due to solvent that there will be no participation of sugar in the in, in vapor pressure because sugar particles does not evaporate itself so overall vapor pressure is due to the solvent when we talk about the volatile part volatile part means that the particles of solute now able to evaporate itself evaporate the solute which can evaporate we call that volatile now if this solute is volatile may be a part of solid may be a part of liquid then the vapor pressure will be equal to the sum of two if i just add uh, alcohol alcohol is also a part of volatile material which can evaporate as that of water water can evaporate is easy, easily alcohol can evaporate easily but the rate of formation of vapors that how fast they can evaporate will depend will depends upon the molecules attraction between them so we say alcohol can evaporate itself water can evaporate itself but the rate of that the how fast they change into vapors will be different so both water and alcohol are volatile substances when we mix this water and alcohol in a beaker in a container and the container is closed with the jar both will make the vapor pressure and strikes the surface of jar and the surface of water so we ke, so we say that both will develop the vapor pressure now now alcohol is acting as a volatile part so again so for volatile so for volatile solutes the vapor pressure is how much is a sum of two pressure due to solute plus pressure due to solvent so we say overall pressure will be is equals to pressure of solute plus pressure of solvent this is what we called as vapor pressure so what does rolt law say rolt law say that the partial pressure of any component is directly proportional to the mole fraction i elaborate this point so i'll re repeat again what does rolt law say that the partial pressure so this beaker is having partially partially means half of the part is liquid maybe uh, maybe in any ratio maybe alcohol will be more or maybe water will be more it's it does not matter so overall uh, overall we say both are having the both are having some participation if the component of alcohol if the alcohol component is more then we see the participation of alcohol is more so there will be more pressure so there will be more effect of pressure effect of alcohol if a beaker contains if a beaker is having two miscible volatile liquids i'll give you the example of alcohol and water let us designate as a and b let p a that is pressure exerted by a and 
पी बी इज द प्रेशर एग्जिटेड बाय एल्कोहल बोथ ऑफ बोथ ऑफ देयर हैविंग द प्रेशर सो ओवरऑल प्रेशर विल बी एडिड सो वी कॉल दिस प्रेशर एज पार्शियल प्रेशर दिस प्रेशर इज एज ऑल्सो एज पार्शियल प्रेशर सो द ओवरऑल प्रेशर बाय द टू कंपोनेंट्स एल्कोहल एंड वाटर will be related with their mole fraction will be related their mole fraction fraction so when we talk about this a component water component what's its mole fraction its mole fraction will be xa will be we represent this as mole fraction as xa and mole fraction as xb xb what does mole fraction means if the brother if a single plot is registered if a single if a single plot is registered under the name of two brother if a 100 yards is registered under two brother so when they want to divide their when they when both of them want their slice the overall the two brothers will get the 50 yards each 50 yards each so we say how much fraction is present over here we can say half fraction both will get the half fraction similarly if the water and the alcohol are in are mixed in the same ratio so overall pressure partial pressure will be the will be added overall it will be 1 Half plus half is equals to one. Same as that of hundred yards ground, hundred yards plot. So overall, their mole fraction will be added in the same way. So this is the way to represent the amount of solute, so, uh, solvent and solute present in a jar, in a present in a beaker. So how we can represent? we so we re represent this one as overall mole fraction overall total mole fraction is sum of two so overall we can say that for a volatile uh, let's take an example acha for a for a pure component for a pure component that only a single as i told earlier that a pure liquid in a jar for a pure component overall xa will be there will be no participation there will be no there will be no no division so we write overall for a pure this means that the solution has only one component other is absent under this condition we say partial pressure is equals to is equals to is equals to mole fraction of a under pure condition under pure condition the value of overall this this value is 1 because there is no mole fraction so overall it will be it will be what what does p not represent the vapor pressure of component under pure form so overall pressure will be is the actual value of pure form now this is uh, till now this is for the pure component when a solution contains when a solution contains more than more than one volatile that is one uh, solute and solvent both are having the having the tendency of evaporation and both will have their partial pressure partial pressure their partial pressure will added out their partial pressure is explained in the terms of mathematics using the mole fraction so partial for this is for the pure component when the component is not pure or i can say mole fraction in the component of vapor pressure when the uh, having the more than one component so how we can represent if it is a binary binary means it is having the two components the overall pressure exerted by this one is by the a 
this is by, by the a this one is the by the second component by by the second component so how we can write as partial pressure exerted by the alcohol designated as b will be as partial mole fraction of alcohol in its pure state both will edit it out so overall pressure pressure total is equals to pressure exerted by the both of the volatile liquids so mole fraction of a as we know that how to calculate the mole fraction so we will apply the formula for mole fraction mole fraction of a mole fraction of a so how we can designate as we x a so we write it as p a over this one is the formula to calculating the mole fraction participation of a component in a solution plus p b this one is the mole fraction of a similarly mole fraction for mole fraction for b will be p b divided by p a plus p b this one is the mole fraction of this is how we can calculate you have to learn this formula otherwise you are not able to calculate the mole fraction you, the overall concept is now clear to you this what does rolt law say so this is whole about the rolt law